Hello, hello. Hi to everyone for another tip of the day. The tip of the day today, or well, the tip of the night maybe <laughs> this time, <laughs> is about legato. Yes. So, how do we achieve? How do we achieve legato? Well, I will tell you how I I, I did achieve it. I actually followed the uh, advice of Maestro Arrigo Pola with whom I had the privilege also to study, that was the first uh, maestro of Luciano Pavarotti, who was already an old gentleman and he had had a really important career. And he always told me to actually approach Legato uh, doing big glissandos. And so he made me always this example. He always told me, sing legato as if you would be a siren or as if you would be a space shuttle, like this. And he insisted, he insisted very much on this point. Well, the thing is that if you do this <laughs> as... Um, discipline as vocalize when you will go to sing an aria in fact you will be much more focused on what you are doing between the notes and not only just be focused on the notes so you will feel you will feel the space between the notes you will be very aware very conscious to go on phonating and what you actually will do you will go on actually adapting very very well never letting go the vocal folds adduction so another thing that you can do is maybe to imagine to phonate like a violin so as if you would be a bow, a bow the bow of a violin so not in a percussive way yes then of course in an aria you will clean this you will do it less but it will remain in your brain in your inner ear the consciousness of um, paying really attention on the on what is going on between the notes. So this really helped me, this really made uh, a shift, a change. And it, uh, I hope it will help also you. <laughs> Maybe you can leave me a feedback, I hope so much. And I will see you very soon for another tip of the day. Until then, please stay safe. All my blessings to everyone. Bye bye from Italy. And I see you very soon for another tip of the day. Bye.